Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Virgo. The energy today, it is November 2nd. Um, you guys know, of course, we just had Halloween. You know, Scorpio energy is still <laughs> very, very potent. Endings, new beginnings, transformation, rebirth, renewal. Um, I'm hearing you need to rest, retreat, rejuvenate, revitalize yourself. Today felt like a, a drag, but it seems like something is, is happening like in real time. Um, I feel like there's just a huge, huge breakthrough here where there's the, the um, here's three of swords, nine of swords. So there is some type of sadness here that is healing something that maybe you've been pressed about or, or, um, you know, fearful of, I feel like that is being taken care of. I have to say too, I am getting here that you can rest. It feels like for some of you, there there is, it's a lot of pain from the past and it's being cleared out. Something about this energetic shift that's happening. All right, so you guys could be healing things within your family, childhood issues, um, revisiting different things. I feel like a lot of people lately, maybe you have um, kind of been homesick, nostalgic, like going down memory lane. And of course, by doing that, some of the, the memories are not all good, but, you know, hopefully you're practicing forgiveness. You are trying to have grace and mercy for yourself and other people. And I feel like as a result, it's like here you have the Ace of Cups. You're preparing yourself for a brand new beginning here. There is a very, very beautiful brand new beginning that is here. Um, a few days ago, a reading I had, I was talking about something. Yeah, there's the Magician card and the Seven of Cups. Um, a lot of different things manifesting within like the next 10 weeks. So just with the, the rest of this year, um, it's time now for you to make a choice. I feel like for some of you, you know, it, when it comes to love, there is a person that's going to be making a choice about you. All right. This could be them choosing to come towards you or them choosing to finally just stay out of your energy and to actually let you move on in peace. But it's like you really needed to make sure that you get clarity about what you want to do. Transformation here with the nine of cups. So, yeah, there are significant life experiences right now that um, are happening. Like you're needing to make changes. Um, you could be seeing different animals. I know for me, I've, I saw, um, actually I have no idea how this happened, but like a, a black, I think they call them, um, it's sort of like a black moth that came in. And I mean, that, that represents a lot about, um, rebirth, you know, spirit, it, it represents death. And I mean, that's for me, that's transformation, but even rabbits, um, you know, this time of year, you may see rabbits in your neighborhood and stuff like that, but that represents the home. It represents rebirth. Um, and for you to have rebirth, to be able to manifest something, of course, as a magician, it doesn't matter if you're male or female, consider yourself feminine or masculine. You do actually have to be very, very, um, decisive very mindful and intentional about what that is. And so there's a time right now for you to cut, clear, cleanse everything that may be standing in your way. You have to break out of procrastination. You have to um, just see everything at face value right now. And sometimes we even have to take a look at ourselves, okay? And under like, have you sat down and really envisioned yourself to see what does wish fulfillment look like for you, okay? Um, because something here is changing transformation here there's it's like divine intervention is taking place wow and as i said that the awakening card came out so there there are sacrifices that have to be made and you're sacrificing the ego or this is someone doing this when it comes to you here there is an illusion of being trapped and it's now time to take responsibility for a situation be accountable like i said it may be time for a lot of really tough situations um or conversations to be had where you may need to see a situation from a, a totally different point of view, okay? Or again, this could be how someone is feeling about you. You have to really, you know, to, to get in alignment, you first have to recognize that there is misalignment. The ego in this deck, that's the devil. So this is, you know, definitely in, in the, the hangman energy, this is being delayed because of your own thoughts. Or this is how someone is with you. Like someone has just been confused. There could have been some manipulation or even magic here as well, especially when it comes to matters of the heart and love. The Ace of Cups keeps popping out. So something here about new love or a, a recommitment to a love. All right. 
There's been a lot of illusions around this here. But we have the King of Wands. So this says that someone is coming out of some type of mental entrapment here. They're inspired now to really take action. Yeah, towards the Two of Cups. Yeah, Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords and yeah, the Ace of Swords. Wow. And behind that is the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Cups. Wise counsel and the Empress. Ooh. So somebody is going back to their divine feminine, or um, you're finally about to connect with your your true um masculine. All right. This could be someone that you don't know, but energetically you are the feminine is making space for the masculine. The masculine is making space for the feminine. And this may come as a result of you, like I said, um balancing your own energies out at this time. But this is definitely some type of past energy or past life type of energy with the six of cups being here. The eight of swords is here with the seven of cups being out here awakening and the devil there is a lot of heavy heavy magic manipulation and illusions that's been here it's not always that you know there's a, a a group of witches that's doing magic sometimes there's just an illusion over your life because of your own thoughts patterns and behaviors or the person that you're dealing with but it looks like someone is finally choosing to let go of whatever is blocking them to actually take responsibility for their life to move towards the person that they really want to be with okay yeah, it's time to take action because a magician out here with the Empress, this is really cre creating something very beautiful. Definitely feels like um, past life, you know, soulmate here. For some, it could be a twin flame. This could be someone that you knew in the past or someone that you're destined to have children with. Okay, this person may really make you feel like a, a child at heart. It's almost like if you knew this person in another lifetime, you guys were like the best of friends. The wise counsel card is here. So this is also, you know, being very vulnerable and open and transparent about everything that you've gone through that has allowed you to finally come into this time now to go through a real awakening where you can recognize that maybe you've made mistakes or maybe you didn't see something in the way that you should have. That is really clearing and, you know, the energy and allowing you now to have the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords is victory and success is drawing the line in the sand it's overcoming a lot of different obstacles, okay? This is making head over heart decisions in a way, but understanding sometimes in that situation, it's like you have to walk by faith and not only by sight. And as a result, it's like you are, you're going towards wise counsel, your higher self. You're going towards higher levels of commitment, good fortune, new home, new house, you know, new car, new job, very stable and secure relationships. All of that is coming in for you. This is coming, though, after you decide that you're no longer going to be pessimistic. You cannot harbor anymore over what was lost because what is actually for you will always be for you. It'll never, you won't miss that. I'm seeing someone be very, very intentional, though. This is a very masculine energy. And again, it doesn't matter if male or female, but it feels almost like someone just woke up and was like, okay, I'm ready. You know, I'm, I'm ready to take on the world or someone is waking up saying, I know that I need to take some time out right now to heal and prepare. But this is a very, very serious spiritual awakening that's taking place here. Once again, you have the Hierophant and the Hangman. So this right here could be someone who is very used to other people listening to them. They, they give guidance. This person may be coming into the realization now that um, maybe they need to take their own advice. Or maybe someone here has been getting advice from someone and they're realizing that's not really the advice that I should be taking because it's not it's not helping me to be aligned for my actual destiny. OK, some people may be choosing to really improve their relationship with God. You know, if you if you go to church on a regular basis, that's good. That's great. But some of you, you really may be coming into this this awareness that you've had elders or people that you honor and you respect around you that have given you a lot of information, but it, it was based on their own outdated self-limiting beliefs. And as a result of that, it has been difficult for you to actually manifest the life that you wanted. And now you're going through this awakening and you're realizing that you need to take time out to reflect and really figure out, yeah, what you need to manifest. How can you be passionate? Because right now with this energy, you have the Midas touch. Anything that you touch, it'll turn into gold. You have all of the tools and the resources that you need to manifest something. Yeah, whatever it is that hurts you, whatever deception or pain, jealousy, envy, competition, you're needing to work through this. You're going to have to learn how to turn your pain into some type of purpose. And if it's destined for you, you can turn your purpose into some type of profit. 
some of you, you are a prophet, okay? It's time for you to step into this role of being a leader. But again, does all of this confusion, you know, it, it's not always, we talk a lot about magic and shape-shifting and this and that. Sometimes the, the, the devil is in your mind. That's the that's the blockage. Sometimes your your own negative thoughts or your fears is manifesting into the monkey on your back that's keeping you from being able to really get up that hill. It's a never ending story. You're needing to go with and to recognize what that blockage really is in order to have victory and success. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's toxicity here. Scorpio season is a time, though, for you to go with. And Scorpio is considered like the um, <laughs> the FBI of the Zodiac. You're going to have to dig deep. When I see this King of Cups, I'm actually seeing the high priestess, though. Some of you are, are going to be dealing with, with men who are very, very intuitive. These men have seen very, very dark sides of, of life. And it has made them... For some of them, emotionally available, but maybe they are coming into a time now where they actually want to be more emotionally available, but they may be afraid of vulnerability. Some people have really seen some dark times, but it's time now to awaken to the fact that, you know, it's, it's okay for you to express the fact that maybe you have fears about things. Okay. It's a lot of people are, who are needed to overcome their fear of intimacy. Yeah. Yeah. The truth will set you free. This is time to, to purify yourself, to be reignited, okay? Work on those new ideas. Look, by you going back to that state of, of joy and happiness and being in a state of, of peace, starting over, healing the inner child issues, you're receiving a beautiful, beautiful reward. What is this reward? Hmm, tell me more. This is good. Ace of Swords and Ace of Pentacles together. Yeah, you're moving towards a lot of reciprocity. Six of Pentacles is also receiving gifts, rewards, recognition. This is getting all of your good deeds back. Six of Swords. This is your, your spiritual team. They're moving you on to peaceful, calm waters. For some of you, they're going to be telling you that you need to relocate. Or if you have a person who's at a distance that has been dragging their feet to come towards you, they're going to be nudging this person that it's time for them to come towards you. It's time for them to communicate with you. And this has to be very clear, concise, and effective communication. Someone here is going to have to make a serious move. It's going to have to make a sacrifice to really get into alignment because someone is recognizing that there is something or someone in their life that truly brings them peace, creates value for them, and they know that it's in alignment with their destiny. Someone here is is recognizing that everything that they do is causing a misalignment. It's because you're in the wrong place. You're in the wrong job, the wrong relationship. You're still talking to the wrong family members and friends. You're going to have to wisen up and move forward towards the sun, towards your higher self, changing your perspective. It's time to have, you know, more self-awareness. But someone here is thinking heavily right now about a relationship. Reconciling with someone. Yeah, someone is losing sleep over this. <laughs> Wanting to make this offer. The Page of Pentacles is it's an offer. It's a promotion. It's a proposal of some sort. It's a solid new beginning. But someone knows that in order to offer this, they first have to be willing to tell the truth, the whole truth. I feel like someone has been doing this in the background. They're trying to um, be controlled in this situation and go about this uh, with a with a bit of, of moderation. But the truth is, is that someone could possibly be even planning like a proposal or planning to move move towards you or want like there's something really big here and it has a lot to do with overall stability. There's a hidden path that has been revealed to someone. Again, something here that was normally taboo or someone was in the dark about or they were keeping you in the dark about. When it comes to their life, I feel like someone is deciding now that they are wanting to be more open. They're understanding that in order to have this brand new passion and beginning with you, that they're going to have to connect with you on more than just a physical or surface level. You can't deny this type of connect. I mean, Scorpio season is so much passion. It's so much mystery. It's like someone wants to let you in or you want to let someone in. Yeah, because it's like here, someone is realizing that they're not receiving any returns on their investment because their heart is not open. This person is still being defensive. 
They're still blocking a brand new beginning. Look, I can't make it up. This King of Cups. <laughs> this person here is, is in so much conflict. There's chaos. This person can find themselves even at times being jealous or envious because for some of you, especially the feminists, you're, you're trying to take a leap of faith and move in a different direction. And this person does not want this to happen. But I don't think that you're willing to talk to this person if they're not willing to communicate the whole truth to you. You're telling this person, you're going to have to tell me the truth about what you're juggling. You're going to have to tell me the truth about your past. This is like an ultimatum here. It's like you either tell me the truth or I'll walk away. And I'm telling you right now, timing is, is truly of the essence because with this eclipse energy here, if a person does not get in now, they will not go on to the next cycle with you. So a person that's struggling right now to leave a karmic partner, if they stay with that person, you will never let them back in. They won't even be able to come back into your life. So whoever is out here feeling like they are confused or they're still trying to entertain options and they have a divine feminine or masculine that they want to be with and yet they watch you, stalk you and pretend that everything is okay, they're going to really miss out on an opportunity. The opportunity of a lifetime to actually be in alignment, to have victory and success. This is karmic justice. You are someone's karmic justice or they are your karmic justice. To balance this out and you guys come from out of the cold and out of this mental entrapment will lead to a soft life. You being able to enjoy the, the fruits of, of your labor. But somebody is recognizing too that if they don't make a decision to come from out of the cold and out of all of these mind games and manipulation, that justice is, is that they're going to watch you be very, very successful and abundant. There's nothing they can do about it. Look at that. Four of Wands. Someone here is obsessed with your security, your stability, who you're with, who you may marry. But it's crazy because this person is constantly sitting around in regret and disappointment and they won't make a move. Spirit's like, you better go towards that person. Because I feel like for some of you who are learning more about forgiveness. Now, for those of you, you're dealing with a person and there's no change behavior. Let it, let it die. Let, you know, don't worry about it. But there are situations that are resurfacing that you're going to have to look at and judge with a bit of compassion. Yeah, there's been deception here. There's been a betrayal, you know, and this could be friends, family member, whomever. But spirit is saying it's still, everything is still okay. You have to stop allowing yourself to be seen as the wounded warrior. Sometimes in this wound of warrior energy, people, they don't actually become a big, you know, victorious and move on. They stay in the energy of not wanting to let anyone in. Being defensive and being resistant to change is not going to open any new doors for you. That means that you're not actually learning the lesson. Now, let me make this clear. I'm not saying that anybody has to go back to their past. And this may not even be related to a romantic relationship for everyone. What I'm saying is that for you to actually be get out of your own mental entrapment you have to sometimes realize that you it is a mental you're here you're not actually stuck in an, any type of prison so to obsess constantly over what someone has done to you when you're still alive well and healthy and you can get in the car and move and go wherever you want to go is a waste of your time and your effort and energy Another point that I would like to make too is because I know so many people are so quick to get in the comments. I'm not taking a person back from the past. Do understand that you can meet a brand new person that you have past life karma with. Some of you think that as soon as you meet someone because you've gone through 10 years of a, of a spiritual journey that everything is going to be perfect. You can meet a person and there can still be some toxicity. That's a part of any relationship. So stop cutting out every single person, whether they're from the past or they're new because they're not in your eyes perfect at that time. And you don't even take a moment to realize that you yourself are, are not quite what you think you are either. And I'm just being honest. And the only reason why I'm saying this is, is because it's something that I'm practicing myself. Self-accountability and, and awareness. That's how you actually have abundance. You have to know where you stand with yourself first. When you learn how to trust yourself, it becomes easier for you to trust other people. Every single time I post a reading and it's something positive about love and about the past, people jump in the comments about how I'm not going back to the past. Well, don't. But there are things from past lives, if you understand that and believe in it, they can come back and there could be karma attached to it. 
But if you've not learned how to deal with other situations in your life, whether it was a friend, family member, lover, or coworker, how exactly do you think that you're going to actually go into a union with someone where you don't know how to effectively communicate or resolve any type of conflict? Knight of Wands, be passionate in your pursuit of whatever you want to do, whether it's business, love, whatever. The star, something here is destined. It is destined, but it requires that you heal from the past or that you heal a situation with some a masculine from the past. Some of you, you have to balance your masculine energy. Maybe you need to deal, you need to speak to a lover from the past. Some people even need to heal the relationship with a father from the past. Whether that person was absent or not, and if that person is deceased, my con my condolences, love and light to you. But if you are feeling broken, hurt, abandoned, rejected in any type of way, your gift lies in you being able to take a lesson out of some type of pain from the past. God is saying right now, you're going to have to strip down and be truthful and authentic. I literally just said to somebody earlier, it's just like a song. God is saying, I will provide the fire if you provide the sacrifice. What are you willing to strip down and sacrifice in order to have wish fulfillment in your life? You have to make the decision to get the monkey off your back. Nobody's going to do it for you. And it doesn't matter how spiritual you are. Wands is about action. Are you taking action? And it looks like someone here is about to really get a strong urge or impulse some type of download to really, really go towards what they feel is wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups and the Lovers. Someone is making a choice if they haven't made it already. So it's best right now, Four of Swords, that you heal your heart. You cannot walk around and be depressed anymore. You can't be jealous or envious. You can't hold on to bitterness and resentment. Towards people in your family or anyone else. Because for a lot of people, this is the blockage. This is why you're not experiencing the, the peace, the joy, the contentment, the home life or the family life that you truly want. Because you're still dealing with a stronghold. Things that are dead, there's you're not going to get anything at all by you trying to dig it up. It's still going to be dead. So stop holding on. Don't let this stronghold hold you anymore. Walk by faith and not by sight. But don't allow yourself to still be at a stalemate. It's time for love, happiness, joy, new offers, new friendships to come into your life. So maybe you're going to have to become awakened about the fact that you or someone in your life, you guys are being stubborn. You're holding back. Focusing on things that are not going to serve you when God is here trying to make you an offer. Try to be more optimistic about moving forward and manifesting because what you want is actually coming in here it is the king of wands this person is going to pursue this empress and this person is coming in very very fast i really do feel like someone here is possibly leaving someone behind though that they either thought they were going to establish a long life with or that they have been in a long-term committed relationship with, to be honest. And a lot of people don't want to hear that. And if you are the person that is possibly leaving someone or leaving a person behind just because you have a conventional relationship and there is some sense of stability here, especially in the financial sector, that doesn't mean that you're happy, that you're at peace. That doesn't mean that that person is the one that God has chosen for you. That's the person that you chose for you. And you can expect the tower to come in because the things that we choose for ourselves is not always a part of what God's plan is for us. So, yes, cycles will be ending. Relationships will end. Marriages will end. People will ro relocate. Layoffs will happen. Everything will crash and burn until you learn lessons and you're able to graduate and accomplish what you need to move on to a new beginning. And Spirit is showing me right now, this Empress here, for some people here, this Empress, this actually is not a divine feminine for everyone. For some people, you're dealing with someone and they could actually be married or have children with someone. This person is looking at this person now and they're not thrilled about their choice. And this person now, I feel, is rushing towards you because they would like to have the ultimate wish fulfillment with you to lay roots, to have legacy. This is what's manifesting. 
It's beautiful, but there will be a tower to hit. Yes, people will divorce. Yes, relationships will end. Unfortunately, some, some families will be separated, but you still have an opportunity to have a blended family. All is not lost here. Things are being aligned and a lot of people are going to have to learn how to see past the illusions and understand that there are some things that are just fated to happen. It's written. All you have to do right now is focus on going out, being open to receive it. I mean, I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. I don't know who that lady is. That's like a song from like the 80s or something. Probably before my time, but I know I've <laughs> heard it before. I'm here. I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. What is this? Hold on. What is, who is this lady singing this song in my, in my head right now? This came in so strongly. I don't want to wait. Come on, Google. Help us out. I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait for our yeah somebody wants to come in I just and I'm not playing any music at all this is strictly a, a channel message so this is I don't want to wait by Paula Cole and it says I don't want to wait for our lives to be over I want to know right now, what will it be? I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. Will it be yes or will it be sorry? Wow. He showed up all wet on the rainy front step wearing shrapnel in his skin and the war he saw lives inside him still. It's so hard to be gentle and warm. The years pass by and now he has granddaughters. So like so for some of you, there is a person coming back from the past. This person could have been married. They could have had a family with somebody else. All kinds of stuff. But yet and still and it literally says, and the war he still and the world the war he saw still lives inside. So some of you, this even could have been someone um in the military, but as I said before, everyone has gone through things. Do you have any type of grace and mercy and forgiveness in your heart? Yes, people have made mistakes. This doesn't necessarily have to be someone that you were in a relationship with, but it could have been someone that you were interested in. They were interested in you. Yes, maybe they have lived a life apart from you, but that's where they've learned their lessons. That's where they've gained their knowledge their wisdom and their power. And now if they're coming towards you to make an offer, what are you going to do? But I feel that a lot of feminines are wondering, what is it going to be? Because there's obviously someone that's been holding on to your energy. Spirit is saying right now, just be open. Just have, allow your heart to be open. If someone has mistreated you, try not to misjudge them now, because what if they have changed? Do not miss out on a, a, a gift or a blessing because you don't like the way that it's wrapped. My ears are ringing. I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. I want to know right, right now, what will it be? So open up your morning light and say a little prayer for I. You know that if we are to stay alive, then see the love in every eye. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't know who Paula Cole is. When did this song come out? Hmm. This had to be. Oh my God. Oh, this came out in 1996. <laughs> so somebody could have been born in like 1996 or around 1995, 1996. Some of you could have a child that was born in 1996. This could have been someone that you had a child with in the 90s. For some of you and you've both lived your lives you both could have been married or had just life to happen you could be coming back around to this person you know if that's what god is calling you to do then go ahead nine of wands but you can't allow yourself to be in this ongoing battle here you you can't be so guarded that you miss opportunities i can't make it up nine of wands and the four of cups this is saying here it's it's good to be resilient but if you're so wounded that you are feeling just 
beat down by life because of something that happened in the past that right now you can't change. You're going to find yourself missing out on good opportunities. You don't want to be left feeling discontent and bored when the sun is being presented to you. Look at this, the page of cups and the sun. Something so beautiful is being offered to you. Please don't miss out on this opportunity because of what you've gone through. And if this is a brand new person, please, please stop allowing those situations with the past to hold on to you. You don't need to go into new situations being stingy with your energy, not being open, not being vulnerable, not being able to express love, trying to hold on to the past or be controlling. Don't do that. Somebody really needs to hear this message. Seven of Cups, yeah. It's like the dream that you fantasized about, that you script about, that you were manifesting. It's coming in. Could be a past person, could be a new person. This is your justice. Wow. Something is being balanced out for you. And it comes to justice. It comes after you decided to take accountability for the fact that maybe you were confused, for the fact that maybe you were missing something that was in your blind spot. Maybe you are a little bit too guarded you know i see sometimes um okay here's the king of pentacles eight of one oh my goodness listen y'all remember earlier i was telling you about the the empress and then we saw the king and the queen of pentacles here right and i said yeah king and queen of pentacles with the ten of pentacles what is this hiding in the back the tower okay look at this now we have the king of pentacles oh and also earlier i had the six of swords and the eight of wands and i was saying that someone is being urged to possibly move travel or communicate okay you have the king of pentacles the eight of wands you have the empress the ten of pentacles and the wheel of fortune the queen of swords the Eight of Swords, the Ten of Wands. That's everything. This is this is such a strong message. You have a King of Pentacles here. I can see this two different ways. You have a King of Pentacles here who could have a very solid foundation with someone. The wheel is turning and this man is willing to drop this situation because although it is Provide, this is where his roots have been. It's still a burden to him to constantly be in this mental entrapment thinking about someone else. This also could be a situation where you have a king of pentacles here who is rushing to go towards an empress. A divine feminine because he wants to ensure that they are able to have a legacy. The ten of pentacles together. The wheel is turning. And as this wheel is turning right now, Scorpio energy. We have um, an eclipse coming up. All of the burdens are being dropped. Someone here is willing to take responsibility and put in the hard work. I feel like this is a gift and it's a reward for the divine. For a lot of people who have been stuck in some type of illusion or mental entrapment for a long time. And you managed to still achieve your goals even if you had to do it alone. You didn't show any signs of weakness here. Even when you were trapped or isolated, even when you felt restricted, even when people were projecting this negative energy, the Knight of Cups is here with the Six of Cups. The Magician, someone from the past is manifesting you or you're manifesting this person. And again, this could be a past life. It could be a brand new person, but there is for sure, there's a contract between you and this person. There is energy there. Your soul knows this person. So even if it's a brand new person, you will instantly recognize who this is for some of you. And I talked about this a few days ago. If you're having dreams of a feminine or a masculine, you may not be seeing their face. God is purposely not showing you their face because he wants you to recognize their energy when they appear before you. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. This person saying, I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. This could be someone brand new. I think one of the readings I did a few days ago, they've all been in the last few days, um, you could be picking up with a twin flame or a soulmate from another lifetime where you left off. You guys have been separated and, and going through karmic situations. 
that had to be clear before you came back together. This is a situation where you and someone, you're going to pick up right where you left off, but you, you're going to do it the right way because it's time. It's time. It's right. You got through the illusion. You made it through the matrix. This maze that you've been in, you found the exit. Your person is writing, is waiting right outside the door. Whether you're male, female, feminine, or masculine, you have to get out of this maze. Understanding that maybe some of your perceptions or desires were distorted. And it's almost like this person, the both of you were in the same maze and you kept running around missing each other. I feel like you and this person are going to get to the exit at the same time and you're going to be able to walk out hand in hand together. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, lots of instability here, but this is still something that is destined. It's been a juggling act. Juggling life, juggling money, juggling family, children. Unable to make decisions because certain decisions was going to cause a lot of conflict with people. But the Queen of Cups has become a high priestess. You may be emotional or, you know, spiritual, artistic, intuitive, but the queen of cups and the high priestess, this is, this is evolving. This is tapping into sacred wisdom, information, seeing beyond the veil completely. And this is now making it easy for you to passionately yeah, this is a lot of passion. Passionately go towards an emperor or allow an emperor to come towards you. King of Swords. Yeah, whoever this emperor is, is very stern. You and this person are probably opposites. The, the masculine energy today is just very, very potent. It's this energy of people are being very intentional, very decisive, like, it just seems like something has happened just in the last few hours where people are just waking up like, this is what I'm going to do. Really just breaking the mold. Stepping into their power, being very logical. You know, having just a lot of confidence to take charge and be really creative and assertive. Coming, like having the strength to get out of this, this maze, this matrix. You have the moon, the strength card right here, and the nine of swords. This is this is has required a lot of faith, a lot of courage. But here's the eight of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. The page of pentacles and the four of wands, the three of pentacles, yeah. This is this is this does feel like twin flame energy to me. This is a lot of hard work, a lot of self mastery. Someone here has probably put in a lot of work to building a business. Someone here has already acquired some type of wealth or financial freedom on their own or even for somebody you know a lot of people may not have anything to do with money but someone is independent the nine of pentacles is someone who is just independent you you don't have any worries but the page of pentacles this is an offer of the four of wands of commitment the page of pentacles as i said earlier with the tarot that we have is it's an offer of a solid new beginning someone could be getting some type of message about a job i'm seeing here this may um be very specific and it won't resonate for everyone. But I'm literally saying where some of you, you may come together with someone. And as soon as you come together, one of you may have to take a job somewhere and move. Or you may have to change your residence or something. There's something here that's about to happen extremely fast. But it's meant to be that way because the two of you are meant to come together and teamwork and collaborate to overcome the devil. There's blockages that have always been in your path. But it just seems like no matter what it is, all the two of you. Oh, my God. This is so beautiful. Nine of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Temperance card. And then the King of Cups. So remember how I just said, because the image that I saw was you and this person have both been in a maze. You're going to get to the exit at the same time and walk out hand in hand together. Now, we just saw the Queen of Cups. And I said the Queen of Cups has become the High Priestess. Queen of Cups has evolved. So the Queen of Cups may get to the exit just a little bit before the King of Cups. But this King of Cups is, is not there. there there's a, a couple here 
your masculine is, is not going to be left behind. You may really be feeling like right now this you're just ready to give up here. Nine of Cups, the Ten of Swords. There's been so much heartache, pain, and betrayal and suffering here. Some that, you know, was the fault of your person, but a lot of it has just been thrown at the two of you. This to me really doesn't feel like someone that has done a lot of stuff to you. And that's why I'm saying about these past energies, you have to be careful. This feels like a connection between two people that has just been very, very hard to get to because of all of the external things that have been thrown at the two of you to purposely put you in some type of maze and have all of this confusion. This doesn't feel to me like a connection where someone has just purposely been doing things to leave you devastated. Okay, so just be mindful, especially if people are coming back from the past, because there will be people to present themselves from the past. This right here feels like a past life connection. And the two of you coming together, it feels like you've been doing a lot of growing and learning, thriving and striving individually. You may not have ever even met this person. Or if you did meet this person earlier, as I said, the Six of Cups going back to childhood, this could have been someone you knew when you were a kid. Middle school, high school, high school sweetheart, you know, maybe it wasn't that serious and both of you have married different people. And, you know, going back to 96, some of you could have graduated in 96 or something like that. This is the old school type of love or. I don't know, it's it's a contract, though, that's coming back for a lot of you. How, take it however it resonates and whatever it is, it is it's destined But it's like these negative energies and entities have been teaming up and collaborating and working against you and this person to turn you away from one another. But at the end of the day, you and this person, you are wish fulfillment, happiness, alignment, peace. You're everything to this person. So after hitting rock bottom and experiencing all of these endings, your masculine is going to be balanced out. There's a divine feminine here who needs to, your masculine is making the judgment to make sure that the two of you have victory and success together. You may have gotten out of the maze before this person, but I feel like this person saying, if you just wait at the exit just a little bit longer, I'm on my way. You can see this person. You guys are probably for sure having dreams and you're not seeing the person's face just yet. This, lineal, this person is right there. This person does not want you to step out of that maze by yourself they're coming whoever this is this person is coming and for some of you this is not about you waiting on somebody from the past this could be some of you even deciding you know what i just give up on love i've been through so much i'm just gonna be single spirit is saying no i have someone for you i have the right person for you i have your person for you don't give up just yet please don't give up yeah page of wands this is being a free spirit, being very passionate, receiving news and communication. And look at that, the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. And here is the Four of Swords. And behind it is the Lovers, the Knight of Cups and the Three of Cups. So you and someone have just been separated, even if you've never met them before. This is so sweet. Manifesting something here, new financial abundance, a new business could be coming up, but there's a major breakthrough here. Maybe if you and someone have been separated, maybe they didn't have the money at some point or you were working on something, you were in school or uh, somebody here, you could, I'm hearing specifically, you've been in some type of master's program or or something here. For some of you, there is definitely distance here, but someone here, the sword of truth is here. Someone has to come in and communicate and let you know that they want to work with you. They want this to be more than a friendship. They want this to go to the next level. The Knight of Cups and the Lovers. Again, someone here may have had to make a choice between you and something else or someone else that they loved and cared about. The Four of Swords. You and this person have been separated. But through it all, Five of Wands, through all of the conflict, the tension, you know, every issue, obstacle, and challenge. You guys are still going to be together. Two of Cups, Eight of Cups. Walking away from things that don't serve you into something more meaningful. The Three of Wands is your ships are coming in. Okay. What you've manifested, you can expect to see it. This is growth and expansion. Because look at that. The world and the tower. Spirit said you're moving towards peaceful, calm water, Six of Swords. Towards the Hierophant. 
marriage commitment. Higher teachings, moving into things that are in, a, are in alignment with your actual values, your beliefs, tapping into your inner truth, becoming a leader. Seven of swords, a lot of you have been avoiding leadership or your person has been avoiding leadership. Some of you, your person is meant to be like a motivational speaker or preacher or something like that. Or maybe you are or there's something that the, the two of you may do together. But you really had to do some soul searching and healing on your own before you could get to the Ten of Cups. Maybe even going to deal with things within your family because maybe a part of your purpose um, is for you to go out and actually heal other people or teach other people how to heal things in their family whatever you've gone through you were meant to go through it because i feel strongly like you're going to help other people overcome those same obstacles and challenges so you know have gratitude for the journey oh my gosh i just pulled out these cards here the sh um the shamanic healing oracle and the card at the bottom here is teaching yeah and i did not see that before i said that yeah, you and this person are meant to teach. You're meant to teach each other things, but you may be meant to teach a mass of people as well. I just said a mass. Someone someone definitely could like want to do something in the church or something like that. Abundance, yeah. Abundance. Feminine energy. Make space for this abundance now. It's all good. See? It is all good. Wow. Hold on. Discernment. Be discerning. Psychic development. Yeah. See, something has to happen in divine timing. I feel like some of you, you've had to, you know, go through a lot of different um, situations. I'm, I'm hearing a lot of things have come in waves. It's been around and around with you. You have to learn how to be discerning. Yeah. And here, the home card is actually turned upside down. It's like your home has been turned upside down. Your home, actually your physical home and your home, your actual your your vessel your body and this is because you emotional releases in the reverse you haven't released something that you need to release in order for you to house the energy of something that is very beautiful and divine you know a woman you can't have a hostile womb and expect that you're going to give birth to something that won't have any voids you have to cleanse that out so some of you you could be cleaning cleaning up your home doing fall cleansing and clearing but don't just focus on your physical home. Focus on your body, your mind, your spirit. You need to purge your soul. Release the burdens here. And you may could be getting some omens here. It's time for you to forgive yourself or someone here. You know, divine timing. There are certain things that happen in divine timing, you guys, as well. Death that we cannot control. Don't allow, you know, untimely events to come towards you and you haven't made peace with certain people or situations because you're going to be the one that's left with the burden. And you don't want to live your life in regret when you have an opportunity to fix or correct a situation. Don't be stuck at a crossroads. Make the move if you need to. If spirit is nudging you to ask for forgiveness or reach out to someone or just do something that you've never done before, go ahead and do it. You just never know what's on the other side of that. You will always be rewarded for being brave. Look at this. I just split the deck. You have thinker and yang. I'm telling you, it's a masculine somewhere who's thinking right now, like, listen, I think I want this new life or this is a feminine right now. You're in this very assertive masculine energy where you are ready to pursue your new life. But see, when you are in these connections here where it's a, it's a high level soulmate twin flame whatever title you may want to give to it when you are sharing the soul with someone if you right now are in a very in a high vibrational energy being very optimistic and decisive your person is going to be in that same energy or they should if they're open peace be at peace there's an unfinished symphony here wow unfinished symphony Happy, happy, mending, chop wood. Right now, chop wood is just every day. Just stick to your day-to-day -day things. Don't worry too much about this because you have a deep knowing that you and someone are a part of the same soul family. You're destined to go to the same place because most likely you and this person will have your own community at some point. 
where you will be sharing your journey. This is why right now you're being asked to clean some things up, clean it up so that you can go the distance. You may be at a fork in the road right now, but this is because you need to clean some things up so that when you come together with this person, you can exchange gifts. There's a need for you to rest, retreat, and regenerate right now before you get to this milk and honey. For some of you, it's like your life is going to really change when you go into whatever this new beginning is for you. Okay, everyone is not a relationship, but for a lot of you it is. But even if this is you just coming into alignment with yourself and balancing your energy out, for some of you, you're going to be someone who's going to be seen by a lot of people. People are going to see you building blocks. You're going to have to come to the edge. You're going to, that's what I'm saying. You cannot be angry spirited or anything like that. You have to take action because your blessing is here, here and now. Are you going to be backtracking or are, are you going to do things by the book and see that everything truly happens for a reason? To be fair, justice is being served here. Whatever has been taken from you or whatever you didn't recognize in the past, because sometimes it's not always that something is taken from you. Sometimes there's just missed opportunities because you didn't recognize it. All that glitters isn't gold. Like I said, sometimes we don't see our gifts because we're so busy looking at the way that it's wrapped. Something that is for you is here and it's time for it now. Higher power. Yeah. Tap into your higher power. Be discerning here. All that glitters is not gold. I just saw, oh, bottom of the deck, marriage. Mm -hmm. So you have a connection here that's moving towards a sacred union. Man, somebody is really going into union. Wait, the timing is not quite right. There's interferences here. Interference could be another person. It could be kids. It could be the need to heal um, family issues. It could be financial challenges. Interferences could be distance. It could be anything. All right. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting, but this is a destined partnership. This is your soulmate. Okay. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. But one person may be giving too much in this relationship. This is saying now you're needing to realize that you and this person, maybe you were on, you know, different different timelines, different pages. Learning to not overcompensate. If you're going to exchange gifts, one can't be giving more than the other. Doesn't change the fact that they that they love you. Addiction, true love, and play hard. <laughs> and addiction is affecting this relationship. So this could be codependency. Someone being afraid to take a leap of faith. Someone could be addicted to working. Okay. Someone could be, you know, it could be anything. It's just bad habits here. But you're needing to find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. It says this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. It's true love. But there has been, for quite some time, you and this person have been in a maze, missing each other because you were on different pages. So now you're going to have to take time out to get to know one another. This also could have been a situation where someone was just, like I said earlier, emotionally unavailable. You and this person met each other. Yeah, second chance. It wasn't the right time. There, you know, but now you have an opportunity to have a passionate new beginning. The rejection was actually for your protection. You've done the work now, so abundance will flow to you. You already know the answer that you seek. And the truth is that this person was meant to teach you a spiritual lesson. Or this journey was just meant to teach you a lot of spiritual lessons. And part of the spiritual lessons was learning that even through obstacles, financial challenges, or any other type of challenges, you are always supported. The divine is always there to support you. And if the divine is always there to support you, you should be able to forgive and offer other people forgiveness and support them as well. If they, if you know that they're meant to be in your life. So financial challenges could be affecting this relationship. Everything happens for a reason. And this friendship is leading to more. So for some of you, you may be falling in love with like your best friend. <laughs> okay. Or it's just someone from childhood or, you know, this could have been a situation that, it just didn't get off the ground before as a relationship that has been coming up a lot because I feel like a lot of people are truly about to like cross paths with someone from their past possibly, or you're going to meet someone and 
that's what I saw earlier, and I really, I saw that, like, in my third eye, like, literally, some of you, you're going to be meeting with someone that you were with, not, some of you were with this person in a past life, but even if you weren't in a relationship with them, you were, like, the best of friends, and I'm seeing, like, child, childhood, like, friends, like, you and this person were, like, sandbox buddies, <laughs> Now, in this lifetime, they want to, like, have wealth, be married, and committed, okay? They want it all now, in this lifetime, or if this is someone from your past that you've known this lifetime, it could have just been, you know, they found you to be really sexy and, you know, they weren't taking it seriously or you weren't taking it seriously. I just feel like a lot of killing had to take place. And now that that work has been done, wow, look at this, yeah. Temperance, four of wands, and justice. Justice is being served in love, big time. Oh, this is so good. It's a brand new solid beginning coming. Something that is destined. You can't lose this, you can't. So just try to be as open and positive as you possibly can be, even if it's a struggle. Force yourself <laughs> to be open. Love is here. A lot of justice. A lot of you have been done really wrong by people that you love. Friends, family, and, and lovers. And you're finally about to get all of that, that love back that you were giving out. And that people were taking from you without reciprocating. So beautiful beautiful energy i really hope that this resonated i please please comment that you you're manifesting this comment that this resonates with you or that you're you're claiming this i think everyone should try to claim this energy the truth is coming out that someone has had an epiphany about the love of their life two people there and a little baby so this baby could be an actual baby or you and this person having a business but a very beautiful new beginning full of a lot of emotional fulfillment happiness joy and bliss you know no circumstances or conditions can take your joy away away joy is not conditional 